بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى's creation is vast is full of wonders and beauty and it's here for us to reflect these are some of the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the sign of his existence the sign of his of his majesty subhanahu wa ta'ala but it's only for those who reflect and those people of understanding who really realize this this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem in fi khalqi as-samawati wal ard wa ikhtilaf al-layl wa an-nahar li ayatin li ula al-bab Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem Verily, in the creation of the heavens and earth, and the difference between the day and the night, and are, are signs for those people of understanding, and those people who reflect and understand. That is the madhab and minhaj of Ahl Sunnah. And what keeps Ahl Sunnah firm is that the people who understand and have understanding and fiqh fi deen reflect on the ayats of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they don't go beyond the bounds. Those are the people of understanding. Those are the people the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man yiridullahu bihi, man yiridullahu bihi khayran yafiqahu fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion. So those people who have understanding and fiqh in the religion, those are people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants good for them. That's a sign of khair. May Allah bless us with that. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And that understanding is what we want to gain if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favors us with that. And as I was mentioning, that those people from Ahl Sunnah who Allah has favored like that with understanding to reflect on His creation and to understand these signs and see how these signs in the creation are evidence, evidences for our Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's existence and that He Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is the creator of the heavens and earth and that these things are wonderful and beautiful but they were merely created things that our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is Akbar Allahu Akbar and that understanding that Ahl Sunnah has is restricted that they don't become excessive with analogies and they don't look at the signs and the ayats of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and just say it's all metaphorical or it has a hidden meaning that no one knows for much of the Quran, no. Or that only these few shaykhs here know this knowledge, no. That's not what the men of understanding, but they restrict themselves with the understanding that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us. And they don't go outside of those boundaries. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat, and understanding in the religion and the practice what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.